Campers, welcome to the Craft Lodge. Today we are going to be making whoops, washer necklaces that look like this. And so you're going to need a few things. You're going to need some washers. So you're going to want to talk to whoever is in charge of your garage and ask them about washers. If they have any extra washers or get them from a hardware store. And you're going to need some nail polish. Now, if you have some fun colors of nail polish at home, that's great. If you're like me and don't have fun colors of nail polish at home, I went to the night, to the Dollar Tree actually, and these were all three colors in here for a dollar. So that was not very expensive. So you might have to ask somebody to take you there. This time I'm going to make a little bit smaller washer necklaces. I have a couple here. And so the first thing I'm going to do is pick the color that's going to be my background. That's going to be most of the washer. And I'm just going to go ahead and try to get it all over. You want to make sure you do the edges too because you don't want those to show. And notice that I am working on a piece of paper because I didn't want to get nail polish all over the table. Of course you're going to ask for your mom's permission before you start doing anything with nail polish. Make sure you're in a good spot just in case you spilled it, what would happen? You're going to probably want more paper than this if you're on a nice table. Then I'm going to think about the design that I want. Hmm, let's see. I'm going to kind of go with a line there. Some purple. Some purple lines. Any design you want. It's not going to be perfect. You want to get plenty of nail polish on there. And whoops. And I got a little on me, but that's all right. Crafts are messy. Then I think a little bit of green somewhere. This one has really short brush. Some green dots right here. A little bit more. Anything you want to do and just have some fun with it. The other thing that you can do, and especially this is a good trick for if it gets kind of messed up and you really don't aren't sure if you like it anymore, you can use a pen or a needle or a piece of wire or something and kind of take these dots and spread them out. Maybe I want to make my green go all the way through and just kind of make a wiggle of color like that. Then you need to let it dry and it takes a couple hours for it to dry. So I have one right here that's already dry and I'm going to put my string on that. You are going to need some kind of string or yarn, something that fit and I usually measure it around my neck first like this. Whoops so that I make sure it's long enough. And I'm going to cut my string. And then I'm going to tie the two ends together. Kind of make a circle and put the middles through there as a good way to tie when you have two pieces. And then I'm going to put this end through that's like the big loop. Put it through the middle. Stick my finger through there. And I'm going to put the whole string through. So it goes like that. And then when you put it on, it will lay flat just like that. That is your washer necklace. Thank you for coming to Crafts today at Camp Laverne. I will see you later. Bye-bye.